One issue that we must take very serious is actually contentizing our members and also Nigerians. Because Nigeria is so much divided along many primordial interests and many interests that are self-centered that we need to address. No country in the world can prosper and work in unity if the country is so divided. So one of the responsibilities of Labour Party is to unite Nigerians along a common goal of development and prosperity. So once again, comrades, I know that this is just a welcome message, but it's to remind us where we are coming from. It's to remind us of the enormous task of what we need to do and to promote candidate of the Labour Party, but also go to the field. Particularly our youth, I'm so happy that the youth have aligned themselves with the structures and the struggle of the working class with their parents, because we are actually parents to the students and the youths. And I'm happy that they are now realizing that organizing alone without organizing cannot take us anywhere. So let us organize at all levels. Let us send the message at all levels. And I assure you that as Britain did it in 1945, we are all the structures. We are actually won by the Labour Party. And recently, because my General Secretary of the International Trade Union Confederation is from Australia, recently Australia also did the same. So I will give you the history in the business session of how that is done, what perspectives we are bringing to the table, and what structures we need to activate. Not that we don't have structures, we have structures. Human beings are the structures. It's just to activate the structures and put them to use. It's just like a weapon. It's just like a weapon in the military cycle. You service them when the need arises. So the need have arise for all the structures of the political commission of both TUC and NLC to be activated in all the 774 local governments. <laughs> Importantly, also the structures of all our affiliates, both TUC and NLC, membership put together is 12 million.